Hello world, my name is Cameron Oli. I'm currently a 17 year old professional nerd and hopeful programmer in the making. And today I wanted to quickly run through how to connect GitHub and Xcode, and especially how to commit projects and push all of your changes to GitHub itself. So with that, I'm going to share my screen and let's get started. So for those who don't know, GitHub is pretty much a coding software platform where you can save different changes and iterations of projects in order to collaborate, share your um, creations, and pretty much it's just a huge helpful resource for those who are just getting started. So I'm going to go ahead and create a new Xcode project and I'm going to show how we can connect our GitHub account if you've already created one. And then as well, um, pretty much how it works in Xcode to commit changes and push them to GitHub. So in this case, I'll just call this GitHub test. And it really doesn't matter um, the different elements that you include in here. It's completely up to you in the project that you want to make. In this case, it's just a test, so I really won't change any of the default settings. After this, I'm going to go ahead and make sure this create Git repository on my Mac is selected. And you also store it in a place where you can find it again. If you forget to click this button, that's totally okay, and you are able to fix it down the line, but I often think it's easier just to have that selected off the bat. If you did not select it, then you can find out if you like didn't select it by going to source control, and if these top buttons are not enabled, then well, all you have to do is create a new Git repository and follow those steps. In this case, these are enabled since I already have created the Git repository. After that, what you wanna do is go into Xcode up at the top, Go to preferences and you're going to need to link your GitHub account. In order to do this, your um, page might start off in general. Just click this blue accounts button to the right. And then you're going to go down to the bottom left corner and click the add button and you're going to add a GitHub account. Now at this point, I would definitely recommend already having your account created since it's going to require you to input your username in this account label. And then after it's going to ask for a personal access token. You can create that by following these steps. However, I'll just run through briefly how to get there. So in this case, here's my GitHub account and I'm going to go over to my icon, go to settings, and go ahead and check out this developer setting at the very bottom. And there you see personal access tokens. In this case, I don't have any. So what we're gonna do is generate a new token and it's going to ask for just a no. In this case, we can say this is being used for Xcode. Now, in order to actually be able to um, commit changes and push to um, GitHub, you're going to want to select these first three. So you're going to want to be able to commit a repository, write packages, and also read the packages. If you do not have these selected, you'll often encounter many errors, but you can always change these settings later on. After that, we're going to go down to the bottom, generate the token, and it's going to pop up with your own ID. I'm going to blur mine out since I'm going to actually be using it. But make sure to copy and paste this, go back to Xcode, and input it where it says that token. It might take a couple tries, and if you encounter any errors, it's often um, typically just a linking issue. It might take a little bit of time for Xcode to sort of sync up with GitHub, and if it doesn't work after a while, I would recommend generating a new token. If you've run into any errors at this point, I would probably recommend restarting Xcode too, since this process is pre pretty tricky and can be um, difficult to manage the first time around. After this, you've already linked your GitHub account and that's all you have to do there. Next, to actually um, upload this file in Xcode to GitHub as a new repository, you're going to want to go over to the source control navigator right next to the folder in the navigation pane. And if you collapse all of these, you should see that you have a master branch in this first folder. And it'll actually show that you have an initial commit. However, you actually, if you check your GitHub account, I will jump to my repositories. You should not see your project yet. You'll see your previous projects or if you're brand new to coding, like fantastic, so excited to have you, but this would likely be empty. So although it shows that you have an initial commit, you still have to go into this remote folder here, right click it and create a GitHub test remote folder. And then this is going to create your repository and push your initial files into GitHub itself. So in this case, just choose the account that's your GitHub account that you want to upload to. Your owner um, typically defaults. If it's not there, go ahead and select something. Name the repository, whatever you want, and then go ahead and fill this out accordingly. I would not change the remote name because Origin is typically just a staple, so I really wouldn't worry about that. Afterwards, all you click is Create, 
give it some time to work its magic. And if we go back to GitHub, our repositories and refresh the page, we'll see that GitHub test, um, the folder that we just created has just been uploaded and it shows that it was created four minutes ago and that initial commit was pushed to the cloud. So this is fantastic. You already have your GitHub repository and now um, anyone can grab the code that you already have. However, what happens if we end up changing our code? In this case, um, I'll just do something super simple. I'll just add a label to a view controller. It can't get more basic than that, truly. But let's pretend that we've built out the first iteration of our project and we really want to save it just to make sure our work is accessible by our collaborators and that we can, you know, keep playing around without worrying about corrupting all of our code. So in this case, I'll just say something like testing. I'll save the file. And then in order to actually put the push this to GitHub, all you have to do is go to source control, click commit, and it should pop up with a screen. On the left pane, you should see different files. And honestly, I recommend selecting all. And with that, you're going to enter a tiny message about why you're committing. In this case, I'll just say added a label, or you could say something like version two of the app or completely up to you. And then we're going to go ahead and click commit to files. Now what this is doing, I almost think of it like preparing to um, send all of the uploads, but to actually share it with GitHub, you're going to want to go back to source control and click push. It should pop up with something that says origin slash master and that's perfect. And all you have to do is click push from there. I will um, give a heads up. If you do not see origin slash master, you most likely forgot to create the remote account. So go ahead and skip backwards in this video and make sure to do that. After that, I'll click push let it work its magic. We're going to jump back into our repository and if we refresh we'll see that um, this folder was updated 38 seconds ago which is perfect.